another day, another adventure. Today we are going to the Blue Lagoon. And it's kind of known as a tourist spot, but I mean, when you go to uh, Paris, you don't just not go to the Eiffel Tower. So I mean, you don't just not go to the Blue Lagoon here in Iceland. So we're gonna check it out. I'll tell you guys if it's worth going or not, because uh, I'll give you a whole like little review about the place. See if it's worth going or not, or if it's a total scam and everything. <laughs> well, let's go, check out this elevator. Futuristic. You coming in? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I can already tell from all the tour bus that this is going to be a great non-touristy spot. Yep. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's just us and everybody else on the island. It's like Disney World. Welcome to Goo Lagoon. Goo Lagoon. You got the lava rock fields around you, so you know. The entrance, I'll give that a good good eight out of ten. It's a nice entrance. Check that out. Yeah, look at this. Look at that water. Hold on, it's not it's not showing properly. Let me come over here. Look at that water. The water here is like a milky blue. It's like almost like an iceberg color. Here, look at this. Look at that whiteness. It's almost as if you're at the North Pole. Santa probably has his elves chilling in this kind of water. All right, you want to go in? Yeah, let's do this. Is that the uh, nuclear power plant heating this? We got cool wristbands coming. All right, you guys, so we just got to the locker room now. We got some robes and everything we gotta go change into before we go out there. All right. We got bath robes, which is awesome. But now we're just here waiting. Uh, we're about to go outside to the Blue Lagoon. This is what it looks like from up here. This is a nice indoor waiting area right here. Damn. Out, right out there. For a brief second, you're freezing, but then you're in the nice geothermal water. We even have a nice one in here, too. Look at that milky water. So we just gotta go out there. This is much bigger than the other one. Much cooler. This one, this one is legit. This way, this way. Into the water, hobbitses. Oh, it's so nice. Whew. That is nice. That is nice. We're back again at the Blue Lagoon. First time here. <laughs> I like this stuff. Now we just gotta find where that bar is. Water temperature, I would give that a 10 out of 10. It is a perfect temperature. Just right. Apparently this thing gives us a free drink. So I guess we're hitting up the bar. Right, right there. I've never been into a water bar. This is gonna be my first one. First, first poolside bar. These things are all over Miami though. I got wine. I got, I got some just like healthy green juice. I was very disappointed with their alcoholic selection. You know, you'd think they'd have an actual bar, but it's just like, you can get wine or a beer, and or you can get Something this. Healthy. I got this green juice, and that's it. Very disappointed on that fact. So and now, if only there was like EDM music and a DJ playing, this would be perfect. But I guess that's just Miami or Vegas. But if they had that here, I'd give them a ten. Guess they have to peel the whole crowd. <laughs> I like how there's two cranes over here. You got one crane, two cranes, and then over here you got like a giant uh, bulldozer up there. And then, oh, you can't see it anymore, but over this little rock hill right here, there is a power plant that is heating this place. Put some yogurt on. <laughs> now we take the yogurt. I feel like I should have a monkey from uh, the Lion King doing this to me. <laughs> we are uh, white walkers. We are white walkers now. Oh my god. Here's the battle plan. We are gonna flank the other guys. And uh, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got so far. 
This is a really weird feeling, it's like cracking. We found the hobbit hole. <laughs> well, that was refreshing. Feels nice. pretty good. Now I can go out in the cold of Iceland for another week now. <laughs> I can survive out there. But now, we are going out to dinner. Uh, they actually have dinner here. We have a reservation. So we're gonna go eat dinner at this place called Lava. Right this way. Aha! to successful Iceland endeavor. Alright guys, so I'm not like a foodie or anything, but look at these meals. Check that out. Pretty good, huh? Say so. Lava did pretty good. I'll give them a I'll give them a ten for that presentation at least. All right, Blake. What do we think of the uh, the Goolagoon? I liked it. It was a pretty good place. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, if I if you're coming to Iceland, I would recommend you actually go there. It's a little expensive, a little pricey. Uh, they don't have the best bar selection, but I guess that's just so you don't pass out in the water. So you're because of dehydration. <laughs> Uh, which I guess is understandable. I just wish it would be a little better. Uh, perfect, perfect sauna. Uh, they had an awesome waterfall for those waterfall back massages. They had some cool bridges. Uh, the water was really cool, and the food was great. So overall, I'd give it. It's a nine out of ten. So they eight had and a half. Nine, eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Ten. I really like the scenery. It's worth doing. I really like the scenery there. The whole lava rock pathway, and uh, just the way it looks there, I, I'm really a fan of. So I'd give it a high score. Uh, if you're in Iceland, try it out. It was a much better of a light show tonight. There were no clouds in the sky, which was really nice. We saw a lot of lights, took a lot of pictures. The only thing was everyone in this whole country was told that the Northern Lights were gonna be out, so there's all these tour buses, which kind of got annoying because there's all these cars on the road, and it was a lot more packed than last time, but it was a lot better than last time, so that's why. So, that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow.